At long last, the time is finally here. The sun shone bright, or rather the lights, down on the battlefield as we pepper it with all the crossbows and catapults toys and get ready for the big battle. As you can see here, all the accessories are set up with the dragon and battering ram waiting on the sidelines, the outposts out on the field, the giants, and the good old crossbow and catapult. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna flip a carom. she picked heads, and it's heads, so she goes first. She's content. We're gonna start with the traditional catapult here, and see. Eh. But if you see where it lands here, it's right in the front, so I'm gonna need to move that out of the way. And here I go, with the crossbow. And I'm a terrible shot. So, because of the rules of the game, up to the drawbridge, She-Ra gets to play right from there. So she has decreed that she will take the shot and really mess up my castle. I am going to retaliate with an outpost attack and terribly miss. she is gonna try to mess up my outpost with a giant. And she gets the walls, but not the outpost. And I'm gonna go back to a good old traditional catapult, try to get in on that castle. Yeah. Oh, there's a casualty. Here we go with a different accessory, the Trojan horse. It acts like a catapult. And let's see where the placement is. Oh, it's on castle, it's sort of on castle grounds, but it's also on the green, which means it's a prisoner. That gets put in the back of the tower. You'll see lots of those. There, I'm damaging the front, but not really, but I can play it from there unless she moves it out of the way. She says, do it. And I'm a terrible shot again. So <laughs> it's gonna play from there. Can't miss that right in front of everything. So now both of our castles are pretty dinged up. Oh, and just so you know, that guy landed more in the water and he drowns. That means he's out. There we go. Right on the drawbridge again, a great shot. So she can play it from there. Well, I got her out of there, so that takes care of that one. And now she's gonna to try to go at me with an outpost. Right in there again. But prisoner on the green. If it gets onto the castle grounds on the bricks, uh, you get to put the spy down. And of course, four spies in the castle grounds is one way you can win the game. Knocked out the prisoners but that's also on the ground, so that becomes a prisoner as well. Anything behind, you'll see my blue tape borders um, on the tops and bottoms. Anything behind that is considered castle grounds. Okay, well, there wasn't much removing done there, but I put down a spy, which actually, when I think back to it, is probably not how the game is played. I think that guy should have been a prisoner, but I killed him on the next round, so he's gone anyway. <laughs> oh well. I put down another spy for that. There are plenty of parts where I've forgotten how to play because the last time I played was over 30 years ago. Another shot from the Trojan horse. I am going to try to retaliate here with, cat with a uh, crossbow shot. Hit the corner, knocked out another figure. You can knock out those figures and win too if there's nobody left. Um, we always said if there's no one left to control anything. And there goes another figure. I am gonna try my battle shield. So there's a lot of setup to this. You gotta slide this thing in and then push it forward to make sure you're up to it. And shoot, Ugh, not very good. Thing's not very powerful. So I gotta play it from there on the next turn. Of course, she's gonna to attempt to take out the battle shield by knocking in the face, you capture the whole thing, and that didn't happen. So, we're playing it from where it lies. 
and it sucked. <laughs> Thing just doesn't have much juice. Wind up getting taken prisoner anyway. All right, now she's gonna come back with a crossbow shot. That knocks some more stuff out of the way. And look who's come onto the battlefield to try to participate. She's gonna investigate, sniff around a little bit, and we move on. I'm coming back with a catapult. The basic weapons seem to work the best. So you'll see me kind of use those from now on. She's interested in the door more than uh, the fight there. And of course, I landed more on the, um, the bricks than the grass, so that's another spy. That's two spies for the barbarians. You get a shot in there. That guy is more on the bridge than anything else. And uh, from the drawbridge, you get to play. So uh, she'll get to play through from the drawbridge if I can't knock it out of there. Well, got it out of there. There we go. I'm gonna come back with a catapult shot. Like I said, these basic weapons seem to work the best. I'm gonna retaliate with a terrible shot. And then she is going to put that guy out of the game. Yeah, he's he's done. That's that's the end of him. Back at it again. What we're trying to do here. Oh, there she's got him too, and uh, yeah, that, uh, it's a massacre. What we're trying to do, one of the main ways to win is to knock the tower over. Um, so that's why the catapult is one of the best weapons uh, to get in on that tower. Of course, I just went right over it that time. And if you knock the flag off the tower, you get used to the battery ram, which is an added bonus. She's gonna start doing some house cleaning on my side. I think it's a little cheap, but we'll allow it. She knocks that guy out and uh, moves that one there. So <laughs> anyway, I actually did take that guy out of the game. You'll notice a couple times too, I shot the wrong carom from the wrong side. <laughs> it just gets confusing after a while. Um, that guy's gonna be a spy because he's on the, on the blocks, the bricks rather. Right over the thing again. Just missing what I'm really trying to get at. From years of unpracticed, folks. That's going to be another prisoner. You can see the prisoners pouring out of the back of that tower. And she gets sidetracked by a rubber band. Just getting that rubber band. No mercy. Outpost catapult. There, knock some of that wall over. That's also a good weapon. Those have proven to be very useful. They have a different touch than the other ones. And now she's going for the Trojan horse again. And there it goes. She wins the fight by knocking over my tower. And there it is. You can see the victory there landed right on the drawbridge. Knock the tower over. And Shira is the winner. And she congratulates the Trojan horse by uh, giving it some loves. So what a cool game. This was always so much fun. This was one of my favorite games uh, growing up. That's why I made sure I got all the sets for it, because uh, I just had so much fun playing with this thing. I was fortunate to have been able to hold on to it all these years. So uh, anyway, that's what Crossbows and Catapults looks like. Dragon never made it on the field. Battering Ram never made it on the field. But um, you get a chance to see kind of how it worked. And, and uh, if you ever find this and you see it somewhere, you should pick it up and play it. It's a fun game. Thanks so much for coming by. Glad you guys come by and watch the show. Please share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time on I Miss My Toys.